Hi Libras, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a Twin Flame Love Messages reading. We're going to see what is your person thinking and feeling, what is going on in this Twin Flame connection, what does Spirit want you to, to know at this time, and we're going to pick up some love messages from your twin and see what they want you to hear. Spirit, please share with me. For my Libras, I am listening for you now. I have a snake, deception, okay, temptation, an enemy. Now, it is coming into me as a third party. I am going to um I'm going to tag it as a third party if that doesn't resonate with you, you know, pick something else. Um pick another reading, but it did come into me as this a third party interfered in this connection and that was like the downfall. I have I'm feeling single, I'm feeling alone, I'm feeling guarded. Um, almost this feeling of you did this to us. Um, and, you know, I'm, you know, I can't believe like you ruined us, you know, because we were really good together. So let's keep going. I have signs and synchronicity. So almost a feeling of everywhere I go. It's, it's, it's that feeling with the car, you know, you buy a new car and everywhere you go, you see your car, whereas you never used to see it anywhere. So I feel like everywhere I go, I'm seeing your name or numbers or hearing songs that remind me of you. And I feel like that's on both sides. It's almost like the universe is constantly reconnecting you. Yeah, third party. I, I feel that. I, I feel like somebody... Somebody interfered in this connection and it wasn't pretty. Okay. It's, it's definitely coming into me that way, unfortunately. Um, so there's a lot of hurt and pain and that that's, you know, twin flames on oh, twin flames can hurt each other. Some twin flames can love intensely and they can hurt each other intensely. So let's see what the cards are saying. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, please share with me any loving messages. What is it that you need me to hear about this connection? I have a Knight of Cups. Wow, a Knight of Cups. So there's that, uh, I don't know, romantic feelings or it's almost like, Somebody's trying to offer you these emotions, um, emotions. I'm hanging in there. I'm, I'm, I feel like somebody's waiting for you. That's how it just came into me. Someone is um, waiting, you know, waiting in the wings. OK, you could have pushed this person away. You could have blocked them. You could have been. And now I feel like they are have decided that, you know, like emotionally, um, they made a mistake or they were a fool and I have a magician. So a little bit of a, I want to prove to you a knight of swords. Yeah, I, I have a feeling you've got somebody who, I mean, having an affair with somebody else is not a mistake. Okay. It's not, it's a conscious decision, but this person I feel like is moving on from that. I don't feel like they're with that person anymore. I don't feel like they want to be with that person anymore. You are the one they loved. That's how it just came into me. So spirits saying, you know, this person is trying to wait for you in some way. And this could be a role reversal. You can change, you know, whether it's your story or their story. Um, but it's a feeling of I'll wait for you because I need you to understand that this is going to we I need like I need you back energy. One, two, three, four, five of wands. Mm. Five of wands. Yeah. I mean, just this kind of how do we get over this? How do we get through this? I, I do feel like it's an endless battle is what spirit just said that you guys could be at a point where you're really butting heads. You really have been struggling lately. But I do have this endless battle. And I feel like this is somebody who is going to try to make your life easier. Now, they may come back into your energy with some kind of financial offer. They may be in a position where they can help you and they know it. So they think that they can kind of win you back, you know, by helping you out somehow financially, or I hate to say buying your love, but that's kind of um, how it feels. But 
they could genuinely just want to help you because they care about you and they love you. But you could be taking it as, you know what, you can't buy my love. You can't just come back into my love, you know, buy, buy yourself back into my heart. So, but I do feel like this person's in a financial position to try to help you. And I feel like that's how they're going to try to come back into your life. Like here's the cure, these Kings kind of working together saying, you know, let me help you. Okay. No, no matter what, I still care about you. No matter what's happened, I haven't forgotten that you, um, you know, you could use my help right now. Okay. Something like that. And I feel like they just want to be back in your life because they just know your circumstances or they know your situation and spirits saying like, maybe they left you high and dry and they put you in a, this, maybe they put you in some of this situation that you're in right now. So that's going to be up to the individual, you know, who's hearing this and not everybody that's going to apply to, but you know, it, it is a feeling of, I just want to try to get you back and I'll do anything I can to get in your good graces, including let me try to help you financially. So let's see what some of the messages are. Third party, the third party interference, just I, like I said, it wasn't pretty and it really messed things up. As you surrender your 3D expectations, I surrender to our 5D connection. So this person could be realizing that whatever's happening around us right now, it's we are bigger than that. We are, there's more going on here. And maybe they're waking up to that because there's this feeling of, um, I, 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 I want to say crawling. <laughs> I want to say crawling back to you, but I don't know if that's necessarily the feeling, but it's this feeling of, I feel like I'm drawn back to you over and over and over again. Okay. Something like that. Um, I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose for our connection. So this person could be saying, you know, why do I feel like I'm, I always want to come back to you? Why do I feel like this need that I have to have you in my life? And even if I've hurt you and then you you have this need to take them back, even when they've hurt you. So there is this compulsion between the two of you or obsession between the two of you like this love will not die. This love will not die. And, and that's how it's coming into me. So sometimes you, there's no walking away from a certain person. There's, it just keeps coming back. I'm conflicted about whether I have what it takes to be your partner. So they're taking some time saying, you know, I keep messing up. I keep screwing up. This time I screwed up big time and it's, it's hurting. We are coming into union. Look for 1111. If you start to see 1111 everywhere, I would say that, you know, this connection is, if you're in separation right now, this, this, you could, you know, all of a sudden you start to see it like every day, every day you're catching it. And then that's when this person comes back. I can't validate our love in 3D until I understand our spiritual love in 5D. Give me time to explore this aspect so I can be a strong spiritual partner. And it is a spiritual contract. So you have to remember that it's you have traveled many lifetimes together. And in every lifetime, you are put on on this earth to learn a new experience. And this journey, this at least in this reading, could be that this third party interference hurt and it was painful and it wasn't pretty and it messed things up. And then the lesson could be, but we didn't give up on it. And we realized that this love would not die, whatever that means to you. Okay. So whatever the lesson is, but that is how a twin flame journey works. It's constantly learning. It's constantly growing. I want to give you more. Beautiful. I feel powerful when I'm with you. How about I just feel like I'm a better person when I'm with you? I'm working towards being with you. I love that. And this kind of we're coming into union. OK, so I'm working towards being with you. And this connection is spiritual. And that's what you have to remember. It is a it is a spiritual bond. OK, it's it's a contract before you even came here to Earth. You guys decided 
what you were going to do in this lifetime. So here you are today and we're getting through something. And what I'm going to do is we're going to put this out into the universe and we're going to thank spirit and we're going to ask spirit to continue to guide you both and just trust, I guess, just trust how the universe works. I want to thank spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words. Claim it, own it, it's yours. If anybody would like to book a private reading, please check out my website at kathymamelandpsychicmedium.com.